Today on this 2007 Dodge Durango, we will be installing Kurt Hitch part number 13296. The first thing we want to do in preparation to installing our hitch is go ahead and remove the spare tire to get it out of our way. Then looking over here at the driver's side frame rail, at the end board side, you can see we've got two attached bolts here and one free bolt over here on the forward side. What we're going to need to do is go ahead and remove the two here at the rear of the vehicle. And this third one here, we're actually just going to remove the nut from the outboard side. We're going to go ahead and reuse this bolt for our hitch installation. The nut will be the same for the passenger side as well. And again, for the, the forward bolt, we just want to go ahead and push it through. You can see it won't fully come out because it's hitting on the, the body mount here. And we just want to push it back far enough to where the bolt sits about even with the flange here on the bottom side of the bumper bracket. At the two rearmost attached points, we're going to be putting in new bolts along with a flat washer. And again, we just want to slide those through just about to the same position as the forwardmost fastener. The hitch is actually going to mount to the outboard side of the frame, and we want to be able to get it up and around into position without hitting the threads of the bolt. And we are going to be adding spacer blocks to the outboard side of the frame. What this is going to do is shim up the extra space that we have from the curled under edge of the bumper brackets. And we just want to go ahead and repeat that setup for the passenger side, and then go ahead and put the hitch up in position. On the forwardmost fasteners, we will be reusing the existing nut. Okay. On the two rearmost fasteners, we will be using the new flange nut that's provided with our installation kit. And with all the bolts into place, we can go ahead and start torquing them down. You want to check the directions to verify the appropriate torque rating for each individual bolt. And with the trailer hitch installed, from the ground to the top of the receiver tube, is 19 inches. And from the center of the pinhole to clear the back edge of the bumper is about two inches. And with the bolts torqued down, we just wanna make sure we put our spare tire back up into place and our installation will be complete. This will conclude the installation of Kurt Hitch part number 13296 on a 2007 Dodge Durango.